Hey Casher, Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today we're gonna be making a very simple creative cache that's gonna require a tot to get to the logbook. Let's get started. All right, so this creative cache is gonna be pretty uh, relative easy to put it together. I mean, I'm gonna be using my router and a hole saw, but other than that, it's pretty much the standard tools that you would need to put a birdhouse together. And I got this idea by kind of surfing through Pinterest and saw this really interesting maze and cache, and I think it's over in England somewhere. And I was like, you know, that would be really fun and easy to make, and just about anybody can make it. So this birdhouse, I'm gonna be using my deck wood, and this is a five and five eighths deck wood, and it's gonna be pretty tall, and you'll see why it needs to be this tall. So I'm gonna get this birdhouse put together, and then I'll show you the next step to create this creative cache. Alright, so now I've got the basic of the birdhouse built, and as you can see, yeah, it's a pretty tall birdhouse. And I've also added some pieces of wood on the inside uh, to give me some place to secure the front panel that's going to be going onto this birdhouse, because that front panel is what's going to make it difficult to retrieve the, the actual logbook inside here. So on this front panel that I have here, and I've already got it already cut out, except for how to get to it, but I'm gonna to need to put a hole in the top so that the log container can come out, but then I'm just gonna use my router and I'm gonna route a path that it has to travel from the bottom to the top. Now remember, when you do the routing, don't go all the way through to the bottom or to the top because then you have two pieces of wood versus just one piece. So now, let's get that routed. So now it's completed and like I said, it's a pretty tall cache and when you open it up, you see this maze like path that you have to do. And what you need to do is of course, I, you, can, you need a tot and I have just a magnetic top here and a lot of us carry these. Now this one has a little bit bigger in, so I can't go through out here. But what I need to do is just come up from the top, just follow the path all the way down get the cash, and then I follow it all the way back up, trying not to lose the cash and it fall back to the beginning. And I pull it out, and there it is. It's that simple. Um, just grab the bison tube, sign the log, ready to go back in, put it back in, close the door, and it's ready for the next finder, and it's that simple. Just a very simple, creative cache that's really fun to make. Now, I hope you've really enjoyed this, and some of the best caches don't have to be complicated, and just it's, it's just what makes them a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this cache, and if this is something that you would like to find. Now, remember, this I can't take credit for this idea. I found kind of the maze idea on Pinterest, so that is really awesome and I really like that and that's sometimes how I get some of my ideas by going through Pinterest or Instagram or even sometimes on TikTok. So, but I hope you've enjoyed this, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.